Hello, Design Forward. We are here for the last day of week one, and we're doing things a little differently, as you might have noticed. Um, first of all, all three of us are here for our end of the week video, and we're going to each share just kind of a takeaway from the week. But we also, as you see, came on location today. Um, we're going to get a little skiing in, in addition to recording this video. Um, so I am going to start it off with Robin and invite her to share just some observation or thought or takeaway from this week of Design Forward. Robin? Yes, and this is how I dress when I ski. Um, I wanted to share that I had a really lovely meeting with Lydia where we were just chatting about hypothesis and I was looking at some of her annotations afterwards. And um, on one of the articles, she just had a short annotation that I think is really gonna stick with me, which was that, um, pedagogy, and I can't remember, she said it, I think more eloquently than this, but pedagogy does not fit in a cookie cutter. And I just thought that was really um, great for the whole ethos of design forward, which is not about, you know, finding your way to the one right pedagogy, but exploring your options and thinking more deeply about your teaching. So I loved that, Lydia, thank you. I will toss it over to Hannah. Hi everyone. So um, I want to talk a little briefly about um, the activity that I highlighted in the dispatch yesterday that I ended up doing. It was changes to self. Um, and I had never done an activity like this, so it was a great exercise. Um, and I decided that I was going to reflect on um, sophomore Hannah, who had just decided to become a teacher. Um, and what my approach to teaching was or what my philosophy around teaching was. And um, I was pleasantly surprised to kind of uh, remember that um, my approach to teaching or my philosophy around teaching actually hasn't changed a whole lot. It's just become more nuanced and more researched. And um, essentially, I kind of held this idea that public school was deeply flawed and it uh, caused as much you know, harm to students as it did uh, good. And I recognized that um, teachers could kind of make the difference in a flawed system. And I still do believe that. Um, and I really approach uh, teaching from a point of care um, for students. And I think that has just really been strengthened by my professional experience in the collab. So I will toss it back over to Martha. Thanks, Hannah. Um, so for my... Um takeaway this week. I wanted to draw everybody's attention to the readings from this week. If you haven't um, read and, and annotated the Giraud piece or the Bell Hooks piece, I definitely encourage you to jump in there. They're both really accessible readings and um, there's some great discussion and comments that people have contributed, particularly on the um, Giraud piece. And, it, and the one I wanted to draw everybody's attention to was that um, it's been so cool. Our collab student affiliate Cassidy, who was at orientation, last Saturday has jumped into the conversation and I wanted to share um, a comment that she, an annotation that she posted and I'll read the quote first and then I will read Cassidy's comment. So Giro says, critical thinking was not about the task of simply reproducing the past and understanding the present. On the contrary, it offered a way of thinking beyond the present, soaring beyond the immediate confines of one's experiences, entering into a critical dialogue with history and imagining a future that did not merely reproduce the present, which I love this quote because, um, you know, it really it digs into critical thinking, kind of a buzzword or phrase that we hear all the time without really stopping to consider what we mean by it. Um, and uh, Cassidy's uh, response was, I have always found open conversations that ask students to think critically about the world around them inspiring. Naturally, some arguments and tense discussions can come from such discussions, but it helps teach students how to communicate and live with people of differing backgrounds and opinions. I've never walked away from such discussions with the same perspective in which I entered into the conversation. If we wish to avoid reproducing the past, we must teach um, students to see outside themselves and inspire them to break away from conditioned ideologies. Um, and it's such a great observation and quote and response. And I just wanted to thank Cassidy for jumping into the conversation with all of us. It was really nice to have her voice in there. I think that's it. Time to hit the slopes, guys. All right, <laughs> we'll see everybody next week. Hope you have a great stay week. Stay warm. And yes, Bye. stay warm. Bye. <laughs>